Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. It's time to get you to stop cutting clips. You don't want to. Okay, I'm, I've been guilty of accidentally doing this. And it's something that uh, came up for me when I've helped some people and I've looked at their timeline and I realized something like a title or an adjustment layer has just been chopped into a million pieces and makes it very hard to work with. Uh, I'm gonna show you why it happens, um, a couple of workarounds on, on how to fix it, and then if you accidentally did it and you don't wanna change it, um, you can uh, join all these through edits, if they are through edits. All right, let's take a look. So first of all, I'm in the Essentials workspace. It's a new workspace uh, that I happen to like. It puts a big timeline on the bottom and, and uh, the, a big, program monitor in the middle. I kind of like this. Okay, so here's the idea. We're working along here and we've got our, our edit and uh, everything is going well. Now we want to start uh, having some fun with maybe an adjustment layer. We've got our title on here and I'm going to add an adjustment layer because I want to play with different looks. So I'll add an adjustment layer, drag that down drag it all the way out so it covers all the clips. And I'll jump into my Lumetri color and go to the creative section and pick a certain look. And this particular one has got a retro look to it. Oh, I kind of like this look. All right, so now I want to start trimming these clips. So I've got this look here, and then we come up, boom, push into that. But I wanna trim this, and an easy way to trim this is to hit the W or the Q key, ripple edit, uh, next edit to playhead, so the end of this is gonna jump over, Hit, the, and that's with the um, track targeting turned on here, so I'll Hit the W key, and then this one I want to trim the beginning, Q and W, and maybe this one I want to trim out before it gets to there. And I don't want that when she starts turning away, so I'll trim that. And before you know it, my adjustment layer has been chopped into a bunch of pieces. The clips are, are cut where they're supposed to be, and the music's chopped up. So if we play back these music cuts, it's gonna sound horrible. Now they're just jumping. Oh boy. And it happened because you're doing ripple edits. With the Q and the W key, you're cutting the end and moving everything on the right to the left, including tracks you didn't want to cut. This is the thing that, I, that I'm talking about that I see um, in people's timelines, that everything chopped into pieces. So let's go back. I'm just gonna undo back to the beginning. And instead, we're going to lock these layers. So I'll lock the title, I'll lock the adjustment layer, and lock the music layer. Now, when we play, I'm gonna trim this to here, W, and you see everything else, including the music, everything stays in the right place. And now if I realize, oh, I didn't want that, that's not the look I wanted, I can go back to my adjustment layer and uh, instead of that one, uh, let me try this one. Oh yeah, that's much better. Very deep, rich look. Okay, so what if you don't want to have things locked? Well, with ripple trimming, you can't get away with it. If you're ripple trimming and you don't want to affect other tracks, they have to be locked. But what if you just want to cut a clip and, and do things, tr cut and or trim, but not ripple trim? Like one of the keyboard shortcuts is Control K on Windows, Command K on the Mac, which is add and edit. Well, that will work, especially if you have this selected. So if I just want to add a cut right here and not affect anything else, and I don't have anything selected, so nothing selected, V1 is track targeted, Control K, I just did an edit from here, no problem. 
Well, that's what happens when you have track targeting. So if I track target V2 instead, control command K, it's going to track target here. Now, one thing that is a little bit peculiar is if you have V1 track targeted, but you select another clip and add an edit, selecting whatever the selected clip is overrides the track targeting. And if you don't have any track targeting turned on and nothing selected, and you do that, you're going to cut every single clip. So it, it's important to know what you can and you can't do. Um, and I've, I, this is the way that, that I edit um, um, my show when I have a certain, my this clip um, on V2 is where I have it. That's what I have track targeted and I, I cut that up. Because when you see the timeline below me, I just, I'm trimming me at the top. I'm not ripple trimming because then that would throw everything out of sync. The sync is always the same. I'm just trimming the top clip so you can see the bottom clip. All right, so let's imagine you did make a mess, let's say the adjustment layer. And remember, this is an adjustment layer where you want to change uh, the look of that layer. And if it's in a bunch of pieces, then you have to select all the pieces and change them. And now you've got five, 10, or 100 Lumetri effects instead of one. So here's one thing you can do. This is called a through edit. I'm gonna zoom in here and go to my little wrench and I'll show through edits. And you'll see this little bow tie show up in here. And that indicates that there's a cut without any trimming involved. And if I did that down here, it would be the same thing. I'll cut the video clip, same thing. There are no frames missing. If I move this over, the through edit um, is disappears because it's not a through edit it comes back when I stretch that out. So a through edit is when you have a cut, but you're not trimming either way. And if you right click on top of that, you can join the through edit. So you can, if you're very careful about how you select these, so I'm holding, I've got the regular selection tool, I'm holding the control key on Windows Command on Mac, and I'm selecting a bunch of edit points. So all of these edit points are selected. I can right click on any one of them and join all the through edits. So let's say you did chop something up and you wanted to put it back together. As long as there are no frames missing, like an adjustment layer or a title, um, you could do that. Now, if, if this was chopped up into a bunch of pieces, you know, it, it's an adjustment layer, so I could take all of that, delete it, and just drag it out. I just wanted to show you two different ways. And there is a keyboard shortcut in the Edit menu on Windows, Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, Keyboard Shortcuts. If you search for Join, you'll see it's not assigned, but it is possible to assign one for Join All Through Edits. And for me, that little that little graphic, the little bug that's in the corner for my show, it always comes in on the top layer and it's locked. I can't extend it because the, the duration of my show is always different. But one of the last things I do when I'm editing is I unlock that graphic and then I extend it to the full show and I, and I go back and I lock it. Even though I'm done editing, I just, I'm a little bit anal about that. I want it locked. So lock the stuff you don't want changed or use track targeting, just a few different ways uh, to recognize this. And if you already chopped things up, um, I've showed you a few ways that you can put them back together. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to wake up to the times when I see someone's timeline and see some issues, and then I turn it around into a useful tutorial for you.